Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today we have a boss fight for you guys. I'm going to help you get through this fight and you'll be doing this in no time. We're going to tell you the spells and the traits to use to make this a lot easier. So, with that said, let's get straight into these spells. Now, the spells you're going to want to use for this is the damaging at range spells. So, Confringo, you're going to want to use that. Defindo, you're going to want to be using that one. Bombarda, you're going to be wanting to use that one. And this one here, Glacius, okay? So, those are the four spells that you're going to want to be using for this, and you're going to want to be using them at range, okay? Then we're going to be wanting some traits for this okay and there's some traits that are very important for this so if we come into the core traits and you come down to here you have this right here make sure you've got this which is the basic cast mastery basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns which means you can use your other bigger powers faster more often okay as long as you keep hitting them with the basic attacks in the meantime while they're charging makes them charge up a lot faster make sure you got that it's very useful the next one this is very important for this method and for this fight is this right here this is the swift trait holding down dodge allows you to vanish and reappear quickly nearby now anyone that's played Elden Ring you guys will know it's pretty much the bloodhound step from Elden Ring which was awesome massive for creating distances and getting away and all sorts so get that and you will see it's very useful next you're going to want this this one here and this one here both power up your health potion so that one pop of a health potion puts you back to full health so if you get hit it's not the end of the world you pop one potion and you're back to full health and you're still in the fight so with that said that's the traits that's the only real ones that are really going to matter yes you could do other ones where if you could put some into the bombardment and into the glacius and into this to make them do more damage when you use them but that's not com completely necessary but the main parts are just those core ones that we told you with that said let's get into this fight okay guys now you know what spells we're using and the traits that we're using let's get into the gameplay guys now it's pretty easy pretty much with these traits and these spells all you're doing is you are dodging his attacks using that that teleportation dodge to open up gaps and then just blasting him avoid his attacks his attacks have a big wind up to them as they see so you don't have to be too worried about them they're quite easy to avoid especially with this creating distance one and when he goes away at the distance like that that's when you use your bigger powerful attacks when he's further away because if he's close like this you can get stuck in that animation of your spell and he will hit you so you only use your big attacks like that when he's at a further distance and you'll have no issues with this use your basic attack to charge them up faster and just use your teleporting to get away from them. open up to create the distance and then create the distance again create the distance and just keep creating distance with your teleporting swift move and you'll be good to go guys chip away at him and it's no problem it doesn't matter how long he takes to do because with the swift with the swift attack of dodge he can't hurt you anyway he doesn't have any power attacks or anything so this boss is pretty much just a matter of as long as you don't mess up your dodge you'll be fine get that swift now if he does hit you a few times this is where i say having that health perk will help you a lot because making it so that you have one health potion takes you to full health is way better than having to use three or two so it'll change you from being able to have like five max health instead of having only like two to max health so that's where i right here realized that at this point that i was didn't have enough health potion to be able to do it for me and i went in and got those two perks so i highly recommend you have those perks too because they do help now we got those and remember we have the swift is another really major one for this having a big play in this and the other one having a big play in this is the basic cast impacts reduce our spell cooldown so we can use our powerful spells more often we 
again using our swift and that to dodge and create distance and then we're just chipping away at his health with that said as you see right here back to this we're just using the swift to open up the big distance as you see right there when he's at distance we use our other attacks now if we need to charge them we use our basic attack to charge them up faster and then we just use our swift to open up the distance again and keep doing that and you'll be fine guys and as you see if he does hit you you could just instant back to full health with that super health potion because you've got the health potion first. so this boss fight becomes super easy <laughs> now this is how you get this cool mount too so at the end of this fight you get this cool thing to ride around on and it's super cool so as you see just keep chipping away at him it's a long fight but as long as you've got that swift he can't hurt you so it doesn't matter how long it is you're good to go got the health potions we can just get straight back up to full health if he does hit us if we make a mistake so you, with this health potions you can afford to make quite a few mistakes because you can just get straight back up to full health use your ancient magic and everything with that and you'll have him dead in no time guys now let me know in the comment section what option do you select right here as you see i selected kneel if you selected attack let me know what happened because I haven't seen that and do is, is there a different thing do you still get the mount if you selected attack because with I selected Neil and then I got the mount now I don't know whether it's going to be different if you select attack let me know in the comment section guys now if this helped you out help me out hit that like button for me subscribe if you're new leave me an awesome comment and of course share this with all your friends and have an awesome day guys thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one b-man out